New details on a veteran who volunteered to serve our country as a teenager but now cannot get the help he believes he earned. We followed the paper trail and discovered several issues and took his case to a VA leader. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau is here with the update. Even Jan, a stroke stole Mike DePlice's voice. With help, he was able to communicate enough to file a disability claim with the VA, but later found out his paperwork was apparently altered and then lost. A stroke put Michael DePlice in a wheelchair and left him with only three words to tell his story. It starts with him volunteering for the Army at the age of 18 and includes combat during the Gulf War and repeated exposure to burn pits. He broke down when we asked about the lack of response from the VA about the disability claim he filed nearly two years ago. But his brother-in-law and fellow Army veteran Jason Busey tells us it was especially hard to hear the answer to this question. But would you serve again? No. No. A guy who volunteered to serve his country, who loves his country, who has um, a disdain for ever wanting to serve again, is heartbreaking. Busey had to compile DePlice's service record with yes and no questions, scrawling the clues on this paper. After the puzzle was pieced together, the claim was submitted in October of 2021. I asked Mike all the time, what, yeah, have you heard anything from the VA? Have you heard anything from the VA? It was every month. I said, well, let's give a month. Let's give him a month. Let's give him a month. 20 months later, the only hint about the stalled claim came from a local congressional office staff member. She's told us that um, they couldn't find his paperwork. Before finding that out, Duplisi had received copies of what he filed. Months later, Busey was shocked to see five of the claim disabilities were whited out with no explanation. And when I go through his paperwork and see that his paper, some of his paperwork had been whited out, is a huge problem. The VA had no right to white out any of it. We told Veterans Benefits Administration Under Secretary Josh Jacobs about Duplisi's case. This guy only has three words right now, yes, no, and I can't say what the third word is. What I will promise to you is that we'll make sure our local regional office leadership is able to connect uh, with the veteran and, uh, and the family and make sure that we can uh, take care of him to the full extent of our authority. Duplisi and his family remain hopeful that promise will be kept. We have an obligation as a country to take care of guys like Mike. I can get up, I can go to the VA, I can go take care of myself, my camp. The VA got back to us late this afternoon and did, and did say the information was passed on to Mr. Jacobs and that the, they are looking into his, uh, Mr. Tbilisi's case. Okay, so has the VA reached out to them directly, contacted him? So we've been talking to them all afternoon and so far that answer is no. We checked right before we went on air and uh, his family has not been contacted, but we'll stay on it, make sure that somehow that happens. Again, the VA does say they are going to contact him, so we'll keep them at their word. All right. All right. Thank you, Walt. Okay. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline. It's 1-800-338-0808.